Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your astrological overview for week commencing the 21st of November. Saturn and Venus are two very different influences. Saturn's about structure and can be restrictive. Venus is about that magical ability to attract good things to us, either in love or in loot. Now this week, their influence really begins right on the first day. Venus is angling up beautifully to Neptune still, like she did last week. And this is a, a very gentle, beguiling influence. And Venus in Capricorn is very earthy, but it can be super sensual. Whereas Neptune back in its home sign of Pisces can be very spiritual, very ethereal. But there could be a conversation that goes on this week, which really can see you tripping the light fantastic on Monday or Tuesday. There could also be someone you're strongly attracted to because Venus then goes on to connect to Pluto. So we have the power of Pluto, especially in Capricorn, linking with the alluring, earthy, sensual pull of Venus. So there could be someone who has quite an impact on your senses. But whereas as earlier in the week, Venus is linked to Neptune, it's very much about a more spiritual connection, potentially, true love. The angle between Venus and Pluto is much more potentially about lust, and it's about what people desire. So if you are in a situation where someone seems to be the real deal, I would just slow things down a little bit. Don't be too quick to get too cosy, because it may actually be better just to let the relationship develop at its own pace. Now, Saturn's influential because it's in the sign of knowledge, which is Sagittarius, and it's linking this week with Mercury. Now, if there are any gaps in your knowledge, they could be exploited this week. Something could come up, whether it's around an agreement, around uh, something that is to do with the past that needs clarifying, whether it's to do with a legal matter, or just to do with the knowledge you need to do your job, then that can be scrutinised more. The sun sweeps into this area on Tuesday, but not before it forges a quarter moon with the moon in Leo. This 5-8 axis suggests there could be some possessiveness, jealousy and control issues working their way around. But with three planets in the sign of Sagittarius, which is very much the freedom lover, then, well, there is a little bit of a dichotomy between someone's need to perhaps be very much in control and other people's needs to be, well, do as they wish, a free spirit. So that can come up too. But I think knowledge is going to be very important this week. So whether it's around your love life or a practical issue or your career or any plans you're making for the future, the more knowledge, clear factual knowledge you have, the better the emotional decisions you can make too. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.